Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 32 Episode 3. In the previous episode we got a fairly big chunk of the prison built, or at least the administrative side anyway. All of the offices are all placed there, at least all the buildings there. We've got our water pump and power block and such up the top and we got a bit of storage and most importantly we've got a kitchen and a canteen because obviously everybody has to eat. I've also really annoyed people by not centering the, uh, by not centering the tables and chairs. I actually, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry about that. I, I did actually, uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I will actually be moving them uh, along like that, okay? So when we, when we do them properly, there will be, um, there, there will be moved along like that, basically. Yes, and we have a nice straight path in the middle. Uh, don't know whether that's going to stay the same or whether I move this one further down, but we'll, we'll stick it like that for now anyway, because obviously that's OCD inducing. Anyway. We, uh, we got a, a few things done, but the main problem is we, uh, we ran out of cash. So as you can see, uh, I've taken the liberty of waiting for about three or four days. Um, and we're now on day 10, which means that I've got my short-term investment grant completed and the long-term investment has only got 11 hours to go. So it allows me to, uh, well, it affords me a bit of cash and then obviously build all of this stuff here, which is fantastic, which is what we'll be doing this episode, actually building this entire cell block down the bottom. Now, there's going to be a couple of changes before we crack on so let's just go to walls and I'm actually going to wall this round here again okay so I'm gonna actually delete that fence there because I put the yard there moved the yard from here over to here and many people said uh, it's probably not a great idea because contraband is going to get flung over I I knew this at the time and I didn't really mention it because well I just forgot to be honest with you but the plan was always to have obviously like little bits like that and we can have the sort of doors there and then just behind it we will have metal detectors so it wouldn't really be a massive problem because we would be able to keep an eye on that but I also understand that that is a very very large security hole that we've just made just by moving the yard to there so we're going to change that again we're going to move the yard back over to here in fact what's going to happen is I'm going to delete all of that there Okay, and then all of this is going to become yard apart from just a little bit that will be on either side because what I'm going to do is actually make my sort of uh, holding cell bit along each side there, but I also might put in a security station because I currently don't really have one. So if I do that, I will actually get a security area. But if I then put them like that, hang on, let me just do, redo that. I will actually get not only a bit of security, but also a bit for solitary confinement, which is exactly what I wanted. So we've got a security bit there. So there'll always be security on either side. Obviously, we're going to copy that to this side as well. So it will be uh, there. And then we need to make sure it's uh, distance of four and then it will be out by one and then in like so. That should be correct if I just measure this out again. One moment. We will just see if that works out. So there and there and there. And then obviously the other bit as well. So two, four, six, eight. That's 16 solitary cells in total, which is more than enough, I think. We've also got this bit here, which will be our fairly large yard. This entire bit here, obviously, will have entrance to the cell the uh, security rooms there. And this will be a very large yard, obviously, with a with a path going right down the center. So this will all be outside. So that fixes the uh, stuff getting flung over the wall problem, as in we won't have any any more. What I also want to do is actually change this. This is our this is our area where we've got a, I guess it would be, well, it's parole, but it's not really parole. It's more of a death roll, roll uh, appeal area. So what I'm going to do is actually change that around just a little bit because I, what I want is I would definitely want this bit to be staff only. So not staff only. I want this to be uh, death row only. So all of that there will be death row only. Not this bit. This bit is fine because obviously we do need to keep the infirmary where it is and such. That is okay. But what it means is that we now have a bit of a problem. We don't have any area for the any area for the uh, parole to be so what I'm going to do is move it over to there but in a moment because what I want to do is just get this yard shifted so we'll go to yard and then we'll clicky clicky or unclicky draggy draggy there we go and then we will put the yard in about there like that you see that's going to be our new yard and obviously that will need to be uh, you know all enclosed and stuff we'll get onto that in a moment what I am going to do is go to foundation and building uh, concrete actually no I'm not I'm going to go to materials and then demolish walls and demolish these walls here because if I don't do that what will happen is that as soon as we build the building around there 
the game will go, aha, he's already got a wall there, we don't need to do it because the fence is classed as a perimeter, well, like sort of a wall, and then it means it won't actually delete it. So we'll have standard uh, concrete all the way along the bottom bit here, and then the, then the bottom left and the, uh, the far left row will all just be fence. So a little bit of a security hall, I would say. Also very easy to tunnel under, which is something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. What this is going to be is uh, the common room. We're going to have a common room on either side, so that's what that will become. So, we've now shifted the common room over, and that's okay. But you're thinking, hell, hang on. In that area there, we had originally the common room and the chapel. What's happened to that? Well, we just don't have any at the moment. We don't have a chapel. So what I'm going to do is go to planning and I will designate this as the chapel. Okay, so we now have a chapel down the bottom there. Similarly, over here, we're going to open that up and that there, instead of being the kennel, it has now become the the teaching classroom. So we need a classroom at some point because I, it, at the very minimum I need to teach guards. So that's what that area has become. But I could also, if I wanted to, shrink it down I'll put another bit at the back for our um, for our parole. We could do that if we want, but what I'm going to do instead is actually just section off a little bit of the shower because the shower is large, but I don't know if it needs to be that large. And I was going to have an extra room here for parole. I mean, we're going to put it either side because with the amount of prisoners we have, we're probably going to have a lot of parole. However, now that I come to think of it, I could easily, if I wanted to, put a parole area around the bottom here. We don't necessarily need all of the like the, the size of uh, yard that we have there. So we could easily make a parole area there. Or we could easily have that as parole because minimum size is, I believe, it is it 5x5? Five five? Or what is the minimum size for parole? Minimum size is 5x5. Five five, so we can't have that because that's security. And security minimum size is, I believe, uh, I think it's 4x4. Four four. Yes, yeah, minimum size 4x4. Four four. So we're going to have to actually make this a little bit bigger. And that instead will be our parole room. We'll actually, you know, we'll, we'll genuinely make it just 5x5. Five so there's another shrinkage on the old yard there. It's a very weird size, that yard, but it is a yard. And now we have parole in two areas. Okay, so we have security, we have parole. But what I'm going to do is actually open up. I'll put the entrance on that side there. There we go. So we have parole on two of the bits there. And then we have a security station there. Although what we could do, we don't really need that security station in all fairness. We could always get rid of that could then cut that in and then have that as our security room. That would also make a lot more sense because you then have this security room that blocks access to the infirmary for the people that obviously don't need to go down that route. I like that idea more. I like that. I also like the idea of probably having a little bit more solitary because I have a feeling it's something we're going to be using. I actually don't know if we're going to be using it a lot. Hopefully we won't need to, but you never know. There we go. So we'll add it. We'll add a little bit extra on top. Right. So that is our new plan. Now you're also thinking, hang on, we've also got another problem here because I have got rid of the security station and the dog kennel. Where are you going to put them? Well, they're going to go on this plot of land that I will buy later on because I can't really see any way to fit it in this area. So I've just gone to building concrete and now what I'm going to do is, I'll redo that because it lagged out right at the last moment with auto-saving. I am going to build this entire bottom row, which is going to cost me 19 grand, but... I'm going to have to build it eventually, so let's just get on with it. It's also going to cost me a couple more grand extra on top anyway, because as soon as I put in, uh, the, well, as soon as the building is completed, we're going to buy about two or three grand's worth of light, so that's always going to be interesting. <sighs> nice tasty beverage. It's actually water. But anyway, it's still uh, okay. I just need to go to rooms here, and then we'll get rid of these areas down the bottom, because obviously they are no longer the bits we need. All right, sorted. So, there is all that done. Do we want to have this bit as yard as well? We could add a bit of yardage on the bottom, either sides. There we go. Sorted. Excellent. Um, one of the things I, I realized when I was 
what I did was I loaded the game up uh, knowing that I would have to wait at least sort of 15 minutes while the game skips ahead. So I loaded it up and then set it running and just on max speed and went and did other things and whatnot and just kept and kept looking at the comeback and looking at the monitor seeing if it was actually uh, it actually passed the time yet for the funds. I noticed that you, you know you do just you can see the um, the evolution of the prison in in terms of our how dirty it gets. So you can see it going from nice, fresh concrete to really, really dirty, even though nobody really walks on it. You can see there's loads of footprints and stuff. There's some, like, brown, muddy footprints. There's a bit more money as well, so we now have 27 grand. There's some uh, sort of dark footprints there. There's a bit of just random detritus all over the floor. Just random things all over the place. It's same in here as well. Just footprints and such. And, uh, yeah, it's just something that uh, I noticed. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Anyway, we uh, I was going to actually record it and do it as an extra video and actually put it on probably uh, 100 times speed in the edit so you can just see it from that view just going clean, 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 dirty, 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 and it's really, really horrible and dirty. I mean, look at the infirmary. Really, you're going to get loads of diseases from that. You wouldn't want to be ill because you're just not going to get treated that yet. <laughs> yes, uh, I've, 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 it hurts when I go this dog. Okay, and then you come out with... Um, uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> some sort of horrible consumption in TB or something. <laughs> anyway, right, we've got this main building here which will be completed in a moment. And here we go, we're going to have workers running away from the uh, the build monster. Ah, run away and it's demolish the walls, bollocks. Right, okay. So, it's built all of them. Fantastic. Okay, so all of them lights have now been put in. I just want to go to materials and then to concrete and then we'll obviously put a bit of concrete over there. I could, if I wanted to, have went around that bit, but it just, it just would have been a massive fart on. Good grief, look how much we spend on lights. 3,420 units uh, just to get lights. That's um, it's a lot of cash, a lot of bread. Right, okay, so let's get on with these grantages. Ah, one thing I've also <laughs> remembered, we need to let the workers out. So let's get some entrances in this place. We'll put in a... Do I want to put a staff door there or a standard door? I think standard door should do the job quite nicely. Let's just unpause that and they can get on with that. Obviously, the workers around here going, oh, where do we go? Actually, the, the exit, they could exit from there, but now I've bricked it up. So a couple of these are going to be absolutely, yeah, they're crapping themselves now. Like, where do we go? Where do we go? Ah! So they're trying to put lights in, but they're just waiting for the door to be put in. Once that's put in, then everything will be good. We need to build a holding cell, we need to build a shower, we need to build yards, we need to have two guards and two cooks, and then that will be our basic detention centre grant. What well, that will then do is open up some more grants from here. So we've got staff well-being, but we can also get prisoner cell block A. It doesn't say prisoner cell block A, but it says cell block A. And we can get on with that one. So let's just close that. I do need to go to bureaucracy a moment, and I probably need to get probably prison policy at some point. Don't need to get armory just yet, but we probably do need to get groundskeeping, cleaning. Definitely need to get prison labour, so I'm going to research that as well, or at least put that in the queue. We don't yet have the guy that can do that, so we might as well get him. So we've got foreman and hire one unit of foreman there, and then obviously we do need to go to our rooms and then shove in the office, because currently he's not technically in an office. There you go, that's a foreman's office, and now he's getting on with that. Right, back to our building here, so we're going to go to concrete, and we'll put all of the concrete in around here. Obviously this is going to be our fairly large shower. A couple of people have said this isn't big enough, but again, then the same amount of people have said it should be, well, it's just right or whatever, so pff, I don't know, I'm just going to leave it as is, and if there's a problem, then we'll, uh, you know, get on with it. I think it's about right. Remember that you're not, you're not all of the prisoners shower at the same time. I'm just going to put enough shower heads in on one side, and that will do me. I'm not going to fill it up because otherwise it would take most of my cash. Well, it wouldn't, but it would take a lot more money than I really want to spend at this particular point. So let's just shove all of that in like so. And that is now designated a shower. I think. See, we now have a shower. The reason it doesn't say we have a yard is because we do, but it's not a valid yard. Let me just brick that wall up. That's going to cost a grand to do that. Good grief. Right, so it doesn't, we don't have a yard yet because we don't have a wall all the way around, which is going to cause me a bit of an issue because I really do want to get that sorted. The only way to fix it really would be to use a fence, but that costs three... Uh, actually, you know what? It's not going to cost me that much money, so I might as well just place a fence all the way around. It's going to cost me uh, nearly 400 there, so I can I can handle that loss. Right, utilities and then large pipe. What we need to do is run the large pipe down from probably there and then into the center of the prison. So what I want to do, I want to place it before we get these walls put in because I want to run it right down the center like so. Center of the... Uh... Oh, that's a lot of money actually. Hmm... 
trying to save myself a little bit of money. I could use small pipe, but then I don't know what the pressure would be like. I mean, we could do it to there, but no. Let's just, for the sake of symmetry, get it fixed. We'll put it to there. Okay, then obviously we'll run pipe down, then along and such. Actually, no, you know what? We will cut that in half. We will chop it to about there. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll measure off from the small pipe where we'll put it down and then along. So we'll see how we go with that one. 17,087 generic units of currency. Obviously, I am getting 210 per day anyway, so I am technically making profit. So that's okay. <laughs> we are making a bit of money from that. I was going to put another entrance in around here, and I still am, but I was also thinking of maybe putting maybe a cut down here. So you could just come along and then through the center, but I'll have to see how that one goes. We'll have to measure it off from one side. Um, don't know. We'll see how that one goes. We'll see how that one goes. Let's just complete this uh, yard thing here. So it's currently saying that the yard is not secure. That is correct, and it should be secure now. There we go, a little bit of a delay, but it's been done. So that is now a yard, an official yard. So, build a holding cell. Well, here's the thing, we're not actually going to put a holding cell in this place. So what I will do, I'll just check on my rooms what we need for a holding cell. It needs to be enclosed around by walls and doors, which is perfect. So if I put a 5x5 five five holding cell in there, um, that is not surrounded by walls and doors. If I do, If I expand it to there... Now it is, yeah, now it's encased. It's just a bit of a weird glitch, even though it's there. And technically, the spare space is then surrounded because that designated, like, that designated area is not surrounded by walls or doors. It then shouts at you because there's a problem. Right, what I'm going to do is just go to our objects and I'm going to put a toilet in the middle of nowhere and then a bench in the middle of nowhere. And that will give me the actual proper room done officially done and everything's working and then I will delete it because we don't need it right let me just run some power right down the center again I will have to run it to the end this time just because of the uh, the distance and the way the power cable works and such so now we have pretty much all of that basic detention center grand done let's go to staff and we need to go to guard and we hire one two guards and then we need to go to cooks and one and two cooks and now we just get another 10 grand. 24,279 generic units of currency. I can now get loads more grants. So, cell block A. That is a 20 grand bonus. We now got 44 grand. We can go for prison maintenance, which gives us a further 10 grand. And then we could probably go for visitation rights. But what else do I want to get? I could go for security. Have patrols, hire 10 guards. A lot of that's easy to do. Education, reform program, we're not going to get yet or at all, maybe, maybe at the end. Staff well-being initiative, I always keep until the end because it's a nice bonus to uh, get that. That says two guards, yeah. Uh, visitation rights, we have to have phone booths and pool tables and have a common room. That's a five grand advancement. I'm probably going to go for... Security Procedure Certification. Okay, so 64,263 generic units of currency. And everything is now powered up. We can then go to this thing, and we can go dismantle that toilet, we can go to that bench and dismantle that, and then we can go to rooms, and then we can get rid of the holding cell because we just don't need it. To get the prison maintenance complete, we need to unlock cleaning for the bureaucracy and at least uh, and the uh, other one as well. So groundskeeping and cleaning. There you go. You actually don't really make a lot of money on that thing because you get ten grand um, already. You, you get ten grand, and then once you complete it, you get five grand. So it actually costs two, four grand, five grand, six, seven, about seven grand to get that done. So you see, you do double your money, which is you know that's generally good profit, good business practice. Double your money, right? Okay, so we need to get some of these cell blocks completed. So I'm going to go right down the bottom here and clicky clicky draggy draggy, and we're going to get this done. So uh, actually, before we do that, do I want a little sort of corridor down the center? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Right. If I make it seventeen, that would probably make that area a little bit too small. But let's work it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would then technically be the center one, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the entrance would come out there. I like that because it seems to work. Okay, so we want to cancel all of them and we want a walkway pretty much straight down the middle like that, okay? Obviously not these bits here, but it will allow me to... Uh, hang on, where's the walkways? That's the walkway and then that's the walkway. 
allow people to... Hang on. There we go. There we go. That would be the walkway down the centre. Either it'll be all right on either side, and then this would be a fairly small common room right down the middle. Don't know if that's too small or not. I'm, I genuinely might have to just cut that end off and have it a little bit odd on one side, which there's no problem with. We're going to do that. I, I don't want to risk it too much. Just, you know, there's no point in risking the design for the sake of symmetry. So let's just get on with the rest of this. So I'll just cancel that a little bit off. So we just need to follow the same design. Obviously, it's the ITI design or TIT design, whatever people want to say. I don't really mind. There's not been any arguments, but people say one of them is more amusing than the other, and I will let you determine which one is actually which. So, actually, what I know is going to annoy people is that that there is a bit different. So we'll do that. We'll do it that way instead, you see. There you go, because then that is copying, almost copying, it's almost the same. Yeah, there we go, that'll do, there we go. I don't want to do that. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, now that I think about it, it really doesn't matter at all. Right, so, back to our materials and the concrete wall, and we're just going to keep putting this in. Uh, obviously, these cells are smaller than usual, and that's something that I do need to really worry about now and I've just thought about it. Let me just go to objects and to this area over here which currently there's nothing in it but we do need to get ourselves an office so let's clicky clicky draggy draggy office and then we need to obviously put in the office furniture. There's a bit of furniture sorted and then we need to hire a lawyer. Five grand for the lawyer and then it's gonna cost me for small cells Ten grand. A lot of money. A lot of money. But, once I start doing that, I can then change these cells to the proper size, which is going to be two by two. So, one of the things that people have mentioned, and there's uh, several people said we should do this, is, uh, you know, you could do different designs. You can actually make a cell that's um, it's one by three which is actually sort of the smallest that you can really go for, I believe. Actually, you can have a cell of just one. You can have a cell like that. If you watch the introversion video, they did have cells like that. I don't like that. I like the cells to be as small as possible, but still legitimate in their um, furnishings. So we can have that there. So we'll have, a, I think, what we'll probably go for is a bed like that and a toilet there. That's what we'll probably do, okay? We could even be cruel and put the head side of the bed next to the toilet, but we'll see. Um, we could also do a three by one, and I don't know how that would work. You would have to have the bed there and then the toilet in the end there, which means you have to crawl over the bed or over the toilet to get to the other one. That's, uh, again, not something I fancy. Let me just go to my rooms anyway, and we'll go to cell, and then obviously we want to put in the cells here. We need to get 15 cells put in. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's exactly what we needed. 15 to get cell block A, and then that'll be our sorted. So, as you can see, it says minimum size. Oh, no. Uh, we need a bed and a toilet. Well, let's get on with the bed and the toilet bit, because the minimum size will be sorted. Uh, how long does it take? It takes oh, a full day to do. So, by the time they've got this done, we'll be okay. Right, so bed. How do we want this? We could have the bed like that. I, I, I for some reason, like the idea of the bed being there and then the toilet next to the head like that. Mm, do I want that? Hmm. You know what? I've sort of snookered myself on the whole placing front because it means I'm going to have to rotate this entire thing around. Oh, that's annoying. I'm going to redo it because it's going to be a massive, massive, massive fart on to finish it. Let's go demolish walls here. Or do I want to do that? See, I'm thinking if I if I don't do it, it's going to cause me a lot of well, not issues really, but it'll it'll cause me a lot more work if I don't shift it around. You see, let's have a quick measurement. Quick measurement. If I do it like that, that just looks better as well. It just looks better. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. I've probably spent a couple of grand on these walls, but uh, demolish the walls. I'm afraid. So from there, we don't need to demolish them all, though. We can get away with just a little bit, not all of it. You see, we just need to demolish them bits there. You see, and then we just need to place a couple more back in. So yeah, we don't need to demolish all of them by 
and you stretch. We just need to demolish a couple of pieces. There we go. I was going to demolish the full lot there before I actually thought about the thing. There we are. Okay. So there's the cells now lined back up. Okay. That's much better. Whew. I thought, we're gonna, I thought I was going to have to waste loads of money then. Right. So, put the beds in. Like I said, uh, the beds are like... I was going to put them like that with the toilet at the bottom. Oh, which way do I want it now? I have to get this right before I really start cracking on with this. Hmm. Technically, with a way like that is a little, little bit more secure. Not that it really is a... It's not like a massive bonus, but it's just one more space away from the wall. But I just don't like the look of that. So we are going to dismantle the toilet and the bed. And then what I'm going to do is try out... Another design on here. Try that out. There's that. And the toilet's going to go in there. Come on. Are we, Derek? There we go. Um, yes. Okay. That's much better. Right. And the worst thing is that uh, one of the reasons why... I switched it around in the first place is because it would uh, be a little bit difficult to place but because of the way I've done it now it would have been exactly the same oh well there we go at least I've got something I'm happy with That's okay all the way along to the end and there we are right and obviously jail doors as well which are gonna cost the most money but we do need them to be surrounded 33 grand left so more than enough to get this one sorted and what I'm going to do is well once I've got to the end here I'm just going to go straight up to the top with a large jail door and then we'll put that there just inc incidentally the, the whole road gate thing I am going to put a road gate like that at the front when I expand this side I will put a road gate at the end and then fence down the middle and have a big block where I'll have my security station and stuff the external security station right so small pipes let's run a small pipe right down the center like that and then connect it up to that and that should should plummet in. I hope. And I'm going to dismantle those utility bits because it uh, annoys me a little bit. Right. And also we've got a bit of a problem with the uh, the power as well. So I'm going to have to run some power cables down. Probably either side as soon as we get the other stuff in. And then run it through. But we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Another sip of beverage while I do that. Hmm. Right. And as soon as I get this cell block done. Cell block A. That'll give me 20 grand, which is all right. 20 grand is a nice amount of cash. It's all right. It's all right. Um, and then we could probably get actually cell block B, to be honest with you. Cell block B should be an easy one to do. Governmental security rating. Can't really do that yet. We are doing small cells. I am going to research land expansion. It only costs a grand, so that's fine. We do need to research deployment. And we haven't yet got a security chief, so I might as well get them there. Let's go for let's go for that there. Do I want to do that? Uh, yeah, why not? Staff and our chief. There's one chief. Requires office. Yes, I know. I'm aware. I'm going to do that now. I also probably want to research a couple of other things as well, but I'll have a quick look. I clicked on security. I don't mean security. I do definitely, definitely want the office. Although it does feel like the security guy should be. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the main security guy should be in the security room, but no, that is not the case. Um, I was going to unlock the the old cloning, but it's a grand and a half that I really don't see the point in. A, I, a lot of people really, really go at me for not using the clone tool, and my argument is, why do I, why do I need it? It doesn't add anything to the game other than it, it speeds it up a little bit for building, but. That's it. It's just time, and if we've got anything, it's time in this. You know, we're not, you know, we're not pushing it to the limit here. We're not um, walking on the razor's edge. You know, uh, don't look down. Just keep your head. You know, got got to push it and all that. You uh, just need to spend a little bit of time and get it all done. I'm just uh, replanning this here, just so I don't forget. Look at all the dirt. You see it popping up, popping up all over the place. Uh, we do need to cut that off there because obviously that's now a proper cell. There we go. And then we'll get on with that one there. Okay, sorted. I know some people would want that to be like mirrored round so we actually have that instead going from there, but it, it really doesn't matter. So, 
For 27 grand, we lose a little bit per day. And that is almost done. You heard that ding ling ling, and then that removed the requirement for the cell size. And then, but you still see it has got, it does still have the, uh, the room requirement for beds and toilets. So even though the size has changed, the other one hasn't. I don't know if you can change the other one. Uh, can't see it. Don't think it's in there. Uh, either way, that ding ling means we've got a bit more money. 20 grand grant completion. And now we can get cell block B, which is raise my capacity to 50, which we can do in this one here. But I think we will leave it there. We have 57,205 generic units of currency. What I'm going to be doing next episode is getting more getting more cells put in here, getting probably the common room up and visitation and basically getting all of the uh, all of the required stuff in. And once that's done, we can get prisoners probably near to the end of last uh, next episode maybe at the start of the following one, but we'll see how it goes. So, as always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.